Hi, my name's Eva. Welcome to my page. Follow me. Shalom to my Kochavi, co-director and co-writer of Eva's story. Shalom to you too. So first of all, about the idea. I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about, we're learning about, we're, 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 we're involved in Holocaust for, for years, for decades already. Instagram, Holocaust, when did that idea come to me? Uh, well, basically we understood that there's two problems, there's two challenges. Uh, the first challenge is that the Jewish and the Israel community um, are losing the best way to really understand the horrors of the Holocaust. Um, and that's by talking to a survivor. And as survivors are dwindling in numbers, we need to find a way to really connect the newer generation to the Holocaust. And the second problem that we have is the international community that um, doubts the truths of the Holocaust and doubts the, you know, says that the Holocaust is fake news, let's say. Um, and so once we understood this problem, we had to think to ourselves, okay, how do we make this the most tangible, the most sensitive, the most in-your-face um, kind of experience for the new generation? And then we understood, well, of course, the new generation is on social media. And what platform is best for this? It's Instagram. Because Instagram is like a modern-day journal, basically, today, for the younger generation. So you took a real story, right? Yes. So we went through 30 different diaries. Um, and we validated all the diaries and we basically fell in love with, with Eva's diary. Um, and we also really liked Eva's diary because she reminded us of, um, of a modern girl. She goes through a lot of problems that um, girls in 2019 go through. Her parents are divorced. Uh, there's a boy that she likes and she's trying to get his attention. She has her best friends and she dances with them. Um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, kind of like modern relatability that we saw in her. Um, and her writing and her coverage of, of, you know, I say coverage, but her journal entries of what she went through were so sensitive and so mature and, and also innocent in a childlike way that it's very difficult not to, to become attached to her. Um, and we really wanted the opportunity to be able to honor her and to, to spread her story. The transition between the crush and the happiness and the story and the problems at home, and then suddenly understanding that it's a new reality, was it gradual? Or do you see it happening like suddenly in one post story, or in her case, a diary? Uh, you know, writing? You know, it's really interesting because in a lot of ways it's both, you know? It, it's, first of all, let's, let's go back to the journal, which is, is the, real, the, real way, the real way that it happened. Um, it happens all in, in a span of four months. So in a lot of ways it's very quickly, but also in a lot of ways it's gradual. Um, in the sense that first they make her wear the star. Then they tell her that she can't walk on the street from 9 to 10 a.m. Then they come into her house and they take her belongings. Then they move her to the ghetto. So there's a sense of gradual change where you can tell things are getting worse, but this is actually all happening in a matter of four months. There was an advertisement campaign in Israel uh, saying what would have happened if there was Instagram in the Holocaust. And at the beginning, before we saw the trailer, there were mixed emotions, mixed reactions, right? Yes, yes. What kind of reactions did you hear? Um, uh, we've been working very hard, <laughs> so we haven't had uh, the chance to read too much about the reactions, but I have of course heard, and you're not the first person to ask me about all these kinds of reactions. You know, a lot of people, um, understandably, were worried that we're doing a kind of um, zilzul, like that we're um, mocking the Holocaust, or we're doing something that, you know, is somehow like clickbait. Um, they felt like it was, you know, not honorable the way we were doing it. Um, I can understand from the first look at the posters why somebody would think this, um, but for us, it's such a far, um, such a far thing from what we're trying to do. I mean, for us, it's such an honorable kind of uh, take on what happened there, and we care. We really became so connected to to Eva herself. And so it's such a different experience from hearing some of the negative comments to how we feel about it. 
Um, all I can say is that, you know, the posters are, are you know, caused a lot of discussion and, um, you know, thank God for that because now you're here and you're sitting here and you're, and you're talking to me about it and hopefully because of that more people will hear Eva's story. And I think once they see um, the actual film on Instagram, they will, um, they will change their minds. I think they will see that it's, it's done in a very honorable and very delicate manner. Now this is revolutionary. Everyone agrees about that. Do you think that this is something, a format that could work in other cases? Are you already hearing ideas, thinking of ideas? Um, yeah, listen, it's, it's so strong for historical things because, for historical lessons, let's say, it's very strong. Because when kids are sitting and, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm the biggest nerd ever. I loved learning through textbooks and through, you know, the, you know, the old school methods, let's say. Um, but why not add also a kind of newer level on top of that? You know, it's so powerful to put um, a person in the POV of a historical lesson. And it's something that they're so used to. These kids are so used to, you know, kids these days, they think that they're Gigi Hadid's best friend, right? They think that they're living Beyonce's life. So why not let a kid experience the Holocaust in that way? Why not let a kid experience an invasion of in any kind of historical lesson. I don't want to like particularly mention another um, big, horrific historical moment, but I think we have an opportunity here to really Or even also take. good things could inspire. Absolutely, absolutely. I think the, the way I see it in a very revolutionary manner is really teaching educational, historical, uh, monumental, monumental movements through this POV method. Yeah. Michael Khafi, co-director and co-writer of Eva's story. Thank you very much. Thank you so luck. much. Thank you. I have to call Michael immediately. Jews can no longer own businesses. Get out of my house! From today, I must document everything that happens to us.